As the holiday weekend gets underway, thousands are driving through the Gulf Coast, headed to their holiday destinations. Nicolette Schleisman is live on I-10 near the Wallace Tunnel. Nicolette, you've seen a lot of traffic today. Yeah, that's right, Dana. And we started to see traffic here this morning around 11 o'clock, but right now traffic is moving pretty well through the tunnel. You can see there are a few brake lights as people start to head towards the tunnel, but nothing out of the ordinary for a holiday weekend like this. But Aldot anticipated high holiday traffic volumes. This morning they enforced a commercial truck detour. Uh, to try and help reduce congestion and crashes along I-10. The department is working with the police department to enforce that detour. Eastbound commercial truck traffic will be detoured from I-10 to both I-65 North and the Water Street exit. Westbound traffic is detoured to the Cochrane Causeway at exit 27. Now, ALDOT urges everyone on the roads to use extra caution and expect potential delays this 4th of July weekend. Dana? Nicolette, is this something ALDOT will be doing often? No, ALDOT says their intention is to only use this in extreme high volume traffic uh, delays. The only other time that they've used this before is three days before and three days after Hurricane Michael. Nicolette, I understand you spoke with a truck driver today. What did he have to say about the detour? Well, he was driving through the tunnel yesterday in his personal car. The truck uh, detour was already in effect yesterday, and he said really? that there was stop and go traffic through the tunnel yesterday. And some of the issues were the fact that truckers were trying to get back on the uh, bayway from the causeway, and that was causing a backup all the way back to the tunnel. Dana. Nicolette Schleisman near I 10, thank you so much for joining us.